Hi folks, today we want to remove the gold from the surface of the circuit board using 65% nitric acid. We pour down the nitric acid into the beaker until it tops the circuit board, something like 200 milliliters. The nitric acid will react with the copper in the circuit boards really fast and the liquid will turn to green. This color might be different in different circuit boards, like uh, it could be blue, but in most cases it's just green or blue. We put the beaker in the ultrasonic device and put the lead on. We set the ultrasonic device to uh, 60 watt power and 35 uh, hertz uh, in frequency. The temperature of this reaction should be a little bit more than room temperature like 30-35 degrees uh, but not more. The reaction of copper and nitric acid will reveal brownish orange gas that is the product of the reaction of nitric acid and copper and it's mostly uh, nitrogen dioxide and O2 and uh, it could be really bad for your health so you might want to use a hood uh, an industrial hood and just remember to keep the safety use the gloves and uh, use a mask an industrial mask and if you can uh, provide a hood it will be the best as you can see the reaction takes place very fast and the gas just reveals themselves this gas will be there until the components are in the beaker and as you remove those components from the beaker uh, you will see that that gas will vanish the circuit board should be checked uh, one by one in the beaker and then uh, they should be removed just by one by one <coughs> You can uh, steer the beaker, the acid pool, manually too, uh, to get the acid all over your circuit boards. Make sure uh, not uh, any of it uh, remains uh, uh, in there. The next thing is uh, we said that this reaction will take place until uh, those components are in the beaker so uh, what you want to do is to remove them one by one to check if uh, one is done and then take it out until uh, the whole pieces of the circuit boards uh, <coughs> um, are finished so how, how uh, do you want to check that? You need to look if there is any uh, gold, uh, yellow uh, gold uh, layer uh, remaining on the surface. So what you're looking for is the gold uh, plates uh, to be gone. So the thing that you're pulling out should uh, be clean from any layer of gold, any uh, yellow layer. Here we did the procedure in the room temperature and it took like 7 to 8 uh, minutes but uh, if you do it in 
30-35 degrees uh, the procedure will take like 2 or 3 minutes so you take the um, circuit board pieces out and check them one by one see if any gold remain remaining on them in this case you'll have two scenarios scenario number one there is some gold remaining on it and uh, then you should uh, see if uh, the circuit board um, is disintegrated much and the amount of the gold la <laughs> I'm sorry, layer uh, remaining on it and if uh, the gold uh, on the surface is much and the circuit board uh, just didn't took part in the reaction you should uh, let it back in the beaker but if uh, is the circuit board is disintegrating and uh, you know if you put it back in the beaker it will uh, reveal uh, pieces of plastic into your acid pool you shouldn't let it back back in the beaker in, uh, you shouldn't put it back in your acid pool Instead, what you want to do is to remove those gold foils um, from your circuit board. And remember, if uh, your circuit is disintegrating, don't let it back in the beaker because it will reveal other components in your acid pool, the components that you don't want. The components uh, and these components will make the later procedures even harder ultrasonic is uh, like an a steering device it uh, shakes and your beaker will shake with it and uh, the acid simply just uh, takes uh, uh, react <coughs> better with the uh, circuit board so we take that uh, uh, circuit board one by one uh, we check them if they are finished or not and we said that uh, these procedures these uh, revealing gas wouldn't stop until the whole uh, circuit boards are out of the weekend. Of course, the gas here is uh, really dangerous. It can ruin your device if uh, you use it like several times. And you can see the <coughs> effects of. Uh, this dangerous gas on your on the on your devices. So after the seven eight minutes is finished, we took out the beaker from the ultrasonic device and started to check the remaining circuits in the beaker. As you can see, the gas in the acid pool will uh, start to uh, stop. Later on, you can uh, put back, put the circuit boards that uh, remain intact and didn't take part in the procedure back in the acid pool and let it uh, stay there for a couple of more minutes until the 
whole gold foils uh, are removed from the surface. Checking if and uh, checking if a circuit board is finished will be really easy. The gold foils are yellow and shiny, and you just want the circuit boards to be clean of any gold foils. The key to this procedure is to let the circuit boards stay in less time uh, in the acid pool in, uh, in the reaction with your uh, nitric acid in like two or three minutes and <coughs> after the procedure we noticed that a higher uh, temperature will uh, have better effects but not too much uh, high temperature just uh, a little above room average the result uh, gold foils uh, <coughs> of course are not pure gold uh, it will have some plastic pieces some uh, <coughs> components from the circuit boards in it that we need to remove that uh, by itself has another uh, procedure uh, that we'll talk about in the next videos we put the uh, complete uh, circuit boards back in the beaker uh, and let the gold foils of them uh, to be removed we, do, we put the beaker back into the ultrasonic device and we turn it on so uh, basically what we did here was to remove uh, the gold foils from the face of the circuit boards uh, and then uh, make sure uh, sure that each circuit board is finished uh, and we don't have any uh, gold foils remaining on them we talked about how these gold foils aren't pure gold the gold foils with um, plastic and other components which cannot be melted down <coughs> to melt it down we need to make another procedure uh, that uh, I'll t make a video and we'll talk about in the later videos thank you please like and subscribe hi folks today results Finally, we have to separate these gold foils using copper, aqua regia or any other methods.